down south where the flowers grow. I love it so. When I'm using her, go run free. I love it so. Cornbread, black eyed peas, neighbors in trouble. Can I help you please? Way down south, I love it. Yes, I do. I do for you. You don't think I don't know what's going on here? I don't know what you're fucking talking about. Where's those crazy kids at? I don't have no kids. Yeah, right. Kids you're talking about? Huh? Got to no kids you know what here. kids I'm talking about? I haven't seen any kids around here. Yeah, right. Where's your better half at anyway? <laughs> Funny. Yeah, I know. I'm a comedian. Yeah, right. All right, all right. Oh, Dick, how you doing? Okay, how you doing? Uh, good to see you again. You still got you working as a truant officer these days? Uh, I hate it. The kids went faster than they do. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. You're welcome to take a look around for a while if you'd like. Now, nah. but I'm going to give you a warning. Okay. Again, you tell those rough boys they better have their butts back in school in the morning. I'll be watching. Don't worry. They'll be there. Don't yes. you worry. You take care. Okay, sir. Come on out, boys.
again. Put it for your fucking finger. Shit, man, it's not that difficult. Get it together. Right, it's fine, guys. Come on, come on man. Right. Some little You're bee buggy. Uh, uh, come on, man. Get back to work. You're work. Guys, You're okay, man. Shit, that well, you ain't getting no more fun. Charlie sure looked pissed off, huh? Did you see where he ran off to? No, I wouldn't worry about it. He'll be back after he cools off. We're the only family he's got. Where else is he going to go? Well, he's a good kid. You just got to help him find what he's good at. Wrenching ain't going to cut it, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how's that leak coming? Oh, it's sealed up nice and tight. I sure appreciate you. Hey, up. My pleasure, Slim. Did you know that people in Singapore walk faster than the rest of the people on Earth? Beaner, what the hell are you talking about? I want to go to Singapore one day. And Greece. I want to go to Greece. How the hell are you planning to get in all these places? On your bicycle? It's all this ruckus, fellas. It's just Beaner with all his daydreaming craziness thinking about traveling the world. Don't knock somebody for having a dream or some wild imagination. Most famous people's careers started with just a dream. You just keep on dreaming, brother. One day you'll see the whole world and won't be on no bicycle. You hear that, boys? Makes you want to treat me with a little bit more respect. That'll be the day. What's the matter, Charlie? I just feel like I'm not earning my keep around here. You're always so mechanically inclined. It's come so easy for all of you. Well, where are you going to go, huh? Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I don't want you to go, though. I really don't want to go. Well, let me go talk to my dad. Dad, can we go talk to him, please? He's trying to leave, and you know he has nowhere to go. Okay, honey. I'll go talk to him. Hey, uh, Charlie. Want to come with me for a moment? Now, I just want you to listen. My dad was a gas station owner and a mechanic. And my mother sang in the church choir. She had the most beautiful voice. She was the one who taught me how to play instruments and understand music. But my father saw no value in it. He made me work 12 hour days in his shop every day. In his mind, that was what made the money. It was regardless if I liked it or not. He was a provider. It made me so mad that I ran away as a young man and wound up playing with all the blues musicians on the circuit. You played with so many blues legends. That's true. I've been very blessed. Well, uh, why'd you quit? I met a beautiful blues singer named Katie. She and I settled down and had Billy. I had to rely on my mechanical skills to put a roof over our heads and feed us. Whatever happened to Katie, son? Yeah, her? Katie died when Billy was 70. She uh, loved her whiskey a little too much. 
losing her mother was uh, tough on both of us. We don't want you to leave, Charlie. I named you a good time because you're always coming around and lighting the place up with your jokes. It's tough in school. You just got to find what you're good at, where your passion lies. Let me show you something. All right. Now, this is what you call an E chord. Now, you see this man right here? That's the legendary John Lee Hooker. I've had the honor of jamming with him a few times. This man made a living just by strumming this one chord. Let me show it to you. Yeah, give that a try. There you go. All right. Now, middle finger right here. Here you go. Index finger right there. Yeah, give that a stroke. Well, not bad. Then you move that one down. There you go. Lift them up. Yeah, man. All right. Cool. Now try strumming in a rhythm, like a shuffle type rhythm. There you go. Yeah, man. Kid, what do you think? Wow, Sam, I really liked it. Will you teach me some more? You know, I'd love to teach you more, but that means you'd have to stick around with us a little longer and help me clean the shop up a little bit. You got a deal. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, all right. <laughs> Morning, Hannibal. Well, it's about time. Look what the cat drew again. Good morning, Slim. Same to you. I've been here all night. What? Well, I never came to you here anyway. <laughs> I live here. Are we going to do some of the machining, uh, finish up the machining on these handlebars today? I hope you get it right this time. Third time's a charm. Stop it. Hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello. Ah, what are you doing? Hey, Barry, did you feed Hannibal this morning? I sure did, Slim. Rocket brought me a big, fat rat. Barry, how in the world do you train a cat to bring a rat to a snake? I believe you can train just about any critter to do anything. You just got to know the right motivation. Is that so? Hand me a half-inch wrench, will you, hot mop? Open-ended? That'll work. Here you go, Slim. Thank you, man. See what I mean? What are you saying? Now, Barry, you know Hot Mop handed me that wrench with nothing but love. And respect, don't forget that. Well, love and respect, that's pretty powerful motivators. Just like you in this engine. Man, you did a fine job on this engine. I ain't lying. Thanks, Slim. It took a while, but it really came out nice. It's a really nice gift, Hot Mop. Man, it sure the hell is. I don't even know where to start to thank you for this. I'm gonna ride the wheels off this thing. No need to thank us, Hot Mop. You've been keeping this place nice and dry over the years. It's been my pleasure. Yeah, man, before you came along, every time it rained, we had to put buckets all over this place. Yeah. Uh-huh. <coughs> <coughs> you okay, brother? Yeah, I just got a cold. I'll give you some water. Dad, you're ill. You need to go to the hospital. No, no, no. I just need some rest. I'll be okay. Just a little rest.
Yes, sir. You still got the magic touch, Gary. <laughs> Thanks, I Slim. I ain't lying. What'd the doc say? Uh, it ain't good. In fact, it's as bad as it gets. But, you know, none of us get out of here alive. It's like that song, you know, uh, we're all just dust in the wind. Uh, I understand. You know, I think the world of you. Uh, I think the world of you, too, man. The rough wars mean everything to me. And I need you guys to stay strong for Billy. And I believe I have a plan. Name it. I want Billy to get the Rough Wars back together again. And take my ashes for one last ride. You know, I gotta tell you, good time Charlie, man. I'm so proud of him. He got to play the blues and tour the world. It was my dream. I wanted to do that. Uh, and that's why I'd like him to pick my final resting place. That mean a lot to me. Slim, good time doesn't even come around here anymore. Yeah, but yeah, I wouldn't want him to, but he's out there doing it. What I wanted to be doing is living my dream. It's so wonderful. I get to live my dream through him. You understand? It makes sense. Now I want y'all to promise to help Billy in her grief. And I got some names and numbers of people I want y'all to meet. I, I think it'll help her a lot. And uh, it'll help ease the way for her. And besides, you know, we all know riding is the best thing. Man, he told me, be ashamed not to share some of this moonshine that Brother Josh sent us. Whoa, Josh Owens Everclear. Yeah, peaches. Ah, my favorite. How's that? Hmm. Mighty fine. Check it out. Now we got your pills. You need to drink some water. No, no. I got something I gotta tell you. It ain't good. Don't say that. The doctor said. The doctor said. That quack. He wouldn't know a bedpan from a pan head. You know, I like to think I did good by you and Barry and Hot Mop. Uh, but I, I lost track of the, the Rough Boys. And I'd sure like to get them back together again. There's only one way I can think of to do that. And I want you to put my ashes in my old harmonica case and have the rough boys take me back to my true home, the home of the blues, good old Clarksdale, Mississippi. In here I've got names and numbers of family and friends from my past. I want you to stop along the way and meet these people and talk to them. It'll give you a better understanding of who I am. And it'll bring the rough boys back together again. You'll do that for me, won't you, baby? Yeah, Dad. I'll do that. There you go. Hey, Blind Mac. What do you think, man? Sweet, good time. And Ray Ray. Don't you get none of that chicken grease on my keyboard. I recorded Steppenwolf, you know. Man, I know you recorded with Steppenwolf. And that song ain't even about motorcycles. You even born to be wild? Hort Axton wrote it. Man, he means the pusher. Hort Axton wrote the pusher. Well, then who wrote Born to be Wild? Ma's Bonfire. What kind of name is that? He was one skinny kid.
And damn it, Ray Ray, I can hear your lips smacking that chicken. How'd you know I had chicken in here? I may be blind, but I sure can smell that chicken. Smells like spicy Sally's. How the hell does he know it was spicy Sally's? Because it smells hot and spicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hey, Gons, that ain't your chicken. It is now. Man, you guys ready to play some music? Just lay one down. Hey, hey, hey! Sounds mighty good, boys. What the hell, Hank? I'm sorry, Charlie. He just busted in right past me. Hey, who the hell are you? I'm a local DJ, Cowboy Kenny. I'm here to do an interview with you. I'll tell you what, I'll give you an interview, but go get some of that Sally's chicken, because Ray Ray ate it all, and then, hey, we'll hook you up, all right? I'm on it, boss. I'm really sorry, guys. Hey, and get some biscuits, too. Hey, good yeah, time. Man. What's up, brother? Hey, since we're already broke down here, man, I'm taking yeah. a little intermission because we were so rudely interrupted. Yeah. Hey, let me, let me just ask you a question that's been on my mind, man. You know, I, I'm more familiar with your music as being more of a low-down blues and kind of motorcyclish in nature. But it seems to me this tune we're working on here, man, has got a little bit of a different flavor. What's the story? Well, it's called Mississippi Girl, and uh, it's about my sister, man. And uh, sister. She actually rides really good, man, and uh, she can wrench, too. And, uh, <laughs> uh, man, uh, I sure am missing her, man. I didn't know you had a sister. What's her name? Billy. Billy Dixon. Billy Dixon? You mean Slim Dixon's daughter? You know Slim? Slim Dixon taught me everything I know about the blues and the harmonica. Well, you know, that's why I'm putting this album together called Motorcyclism. I mean, uh, man, Slim taught the great Gary Smith how to play the harmonica. Well, I don't know how great I ended up being, but, man, he taught me everything well, I know. Dude, you legendary around us, man. Hey, that makes us brothers, man. Hey, right, bro. Long live the blues, man. Love you, man. We'll have to schedule in after his tour. He's booked, I tell you. I don't care what Kardashian you know. Punk ass cupcake. What? Oh, hey, Billy. Hey, good time. You got a phone call. Sounds real important. Yeah, good time. Charlie, hey, it's Billy. Oh, hey, Billy. Man, I was just talking about you. We're laying some tracks over here. I'm writing a song about you. Listen, Slim passed away. I need you to come home right now. Where did that, what happened? I was just getting ready to come. See, after this tour, I was gonna come. I know I ain't been here in a while, but I was. Billy, I'm sorry. I understand. I'll be on my way. I love you. I love you too. Long live the blue. Long live the blue. Born to die of rough, born to live you stay like a vice. Into the night, thinking of swim. My only option is to win. Doing 80 miles with my face in the wind. Spread my wings and take flight. Stuck in this life. A living legend, a living legend like Charlie Muscle White. Gonna be rich, no matter how poor. I'm hot as a tar. The mop top poured on the floor. Do it for the legends that died and tried. Most people be living, but they ain't really alive. Take my dudes in this game, they ain't did it the same. I'm trying to be chillin' in the palace of the king Forever on the grind for whatever is mine That's why they call me good time I'm done with the crime Everywhere is my home See, I ain't moving zones I used to push keys like Deacon Jones Ice man like Albert Collins I know how to cook Live my life in burning hell like John Lee Hood Keeping them shook wherever I look But they ain't gambled half the risk In the streets that I took This life picked me I didn't have a choice That's why I ride Born to die a rough boy Take your time, young man. Let it breathe. Let it breathe. Let it breathe. Born to 
to die a rough boy, they ain't never said a thing. Keep it real to the thrill is gone by Diddy King. You know I ain't lazy, the vision be hazy. I smoke bumping, buddy, got feeling stone crazy. Hurry, hurry, step right up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, scooter tramps and hot Harley Huns. Thrill to a one of a kind challenge. Tonight only, experience the ultimate throwdown between those warriors of the wasteland. We've got Rockstone, the crazy agent, going toe to toe with that madman from Manila, that gargantuan gorilla, Hater Gavinov, with their fire breathing suicide machine. These boys will hold no prisoners for all. Hungry, hungry, step right up. Smell of nitro. Smells like victory to me. Smells like beer to me. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Let's go find Rocky. Hover in this right. I mean. Charlie's famous man. Hey, I don't care if he's Elvis Presley. You gotta pay. Okay, all right. Well, it's twenty dollars a ticket, and there's three of you, so sixty bucks. All right. Hey guys, I got this covered. All right. I get your change. How much you say again? Sixty. So why do they call you good time? You know how to show women a good time? This is what I mean. Get your butt out of here and go enjoy the races. All right, well, I sure would like to see you again. All right, well, maybe we'll talk later. You couldn't be at a better place. Yeah. Look at that fueler down there getting ready to go. Well, what do you think? You got any better I think he's, I, th I think it's barking pretty good, but I think the one in the right lane is going to make it. What do you want to do? I got no idea. What, what do you want to do? Why does Mr. Big Rockstar get to pick where Slim will carry at? You know, Slim uh, followed Charlie's career. His time was living out Slim's dream. He was glad he didn't pick up the wrenches. Listen, Slim's brother Rick was seven years younger, and Slim always blamed him for their mother's death. Hey, that's all the news. No, it's a guy giving him So, uh, where's this Rick live? Hey, you ever hear of Strokers Dallas? Biggest biker bar west of the Mississippi. Tony Pan, Jimmy, Crock, you boys stay here, wait for Big G Beaner. Barry, Hot Mom, Charlie, let's go check out this world famous biker bar. That's right. That's right. Hey, 
Hey, you gonna be able to get that done yet? Oh yes, sir. I'm on that. I'll get it for you, boss. Woody. No. What now? Woody, we're only two weeks out. We can't find Good Time Charlie anywhere. You know, kind of like, what are we paying those guys for? I mean, I think we hired a couple of idiots. Yeah, I tried to warn you about them. Idiots. <laughs> Thank you. For the reminder. He did what? He just split. He got a phone call and he up and split and left me with his cell phone. What the hell? I mean, you find that guy, understand? You find him, you get him. He's got to be here. He's got a show Friday. Do remind him. He's got a show Friday. I don't care where he's at. He needs to be here Friday to do that show, and he better not screw it up. Understand? I got it. Musicians. Woody, Alice Cooper's online, too. Oh, yes. Come on, Carl. Beer Tub number three is out, and I keep telling you I can't sell beer if I don't have beer in the beer tub. Get back to work, Carl. Okay, boss, I'm right on it. You tell him, Rick. Put the possum done drug up, oh Billy girl. Same old ass kicking boss, I see. And you gotta crack the whip on these knuckleheads. So I see you got old hot mop. Who are these other two fellas? This here's Barry. He's been doing motors for us since about the time you left. Yeah. And this is Good Time Charlie. Hi Charlie. Mm -hmm. He's real close with his brother. What do you mean was? Rick slim passed and we're taking his ashes home. Oh no. Y you know, I'm, I wasn't the one that kept us apart. I know that. You know what they say. Life is short. We're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time! Welcome to Stroker's Dallas, y'all. Let me show you around. Name's Jab. Been as dry as a tinker's curse. Parched I am. Here to buy a veteran a drink. A veteran, huh? Ah. Uh, World War. Why, all of them, lad. All of them. Sonia, around for me, mate. On Rick's tab. Uh. Slim. Not Slim Dixon, to be sure. Yeah, Rick, Rick's brother, Slim. And the prophecy is true. The treasure will be found. Treasure? What treasure? Deep in the bayou, a story is told of a lost motorcycle and a ticket of gold. A treasure buried and a promise old that will be discovered by the bright and bold. What the hell? A trusty compass as your guide. Across this country you will ride. Many have lost. Many have tried, but you alone will turn the tide. Somewhere between the two great seas, an iron heart may hold the key. 
No X will mark this spot you see, where wild things grow and eagles weave. Damn it, Jack, I told you to quit bothering my patron. Bloody belts rat, I'll not drink any more of your swill. Sorry about that. You know, old Jack used to be a good guy, but the booze done fried his brain. You know, when Slim shunned me, Jack stuck with me. He was my parts manager, and he actually helped me build this business. Well, you know, that stuff that he talks about, the lost bike, it's true. I've heard it. You know, there was this old tycoon that rode an Indian motorcycle. He went off to the war, and he never came back. But the crazy part is, they said that he buried a fortune and a gold motorcycle. Gold motorcycle? You know, Slim was obsessed with that story. He kept clues in an old notebook. A gold ticket and a lost motorcycle. It's a bunch of malarkey, if you ask me. Rick, you've got a phone call. Sounds urgent. Excuse me, y'all. No rest for the wicked around this joint. You know, I remember Slim talking about that treasure. He spent years looking for it and trying to figure out the clues in that notebook of his. Sure wish we had that notebook. Slim met in Barry Bar. They played here. Hey, there they are right there. You know, they were the perfect couple. You gotta be Billy. I am. Do I know you? You're spitting image of your mama. You knew my mother? And your daddy, too. Katie and Slim got their start here. Right here in this very place. I'll be damned. You're the doctor, ain't you? Yes, sir. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. You've got to be good time, Charlie. Yeah. I heard you play at the Boom Boom Room. It's an honor to meet you, Doc. Honor to meet you as well. I came bearing bad news. I know. Your daddy wrote on it. The spirit came to me the night he passed. Nothing much gets past the doctor. Hey, Danielle. Get me that vial underneath the bar, please. Here you go, Doc. Slim told me if you ever come by to give this to you. It was your mom's. It says something here on the back. It's a Native American prophecy. Mom was part Lakota. What's it say? It says the black snake must die. Curious, sir. I'm curious, sir. Hey, so what do you think? Isn't this a perfect place to put Slim's ashes? I mean. This is where he started from. You couldn't find a better place than this. You know, hi, Mom. You probably ain't gonna wanna hear this, man, but I'm not feeling it. I'm putting some ashes here. I just don't feel it. You're not feeling it? What the hell is that supposed to mean? You know what I think? You just won't let Slim go, will you? 
you run off to become Mr. Rockstar, right? Leave us to take care of Slim, and now you're feeling sorry about it, and you just won't let it go, will you? You're just trying to drag this out. No, Barry, he has to hear this. Where is the right place, huh? Think about what Slim would want, good time. I am trying to do the right thing. Everybody, did Billy call yet? Not yet, should be soon. Hey, you want a beer, Big D? I don't mind if I do. Hey, Barky, can I get a beer for Big D? I'm making a light beer. Hey, where's Beaner at? He ain't here yet. He was in India of all places, lying with the fattened monk. I think we better chill out. Huh? No sweat, my boys will take care of it. Lots of mustard, just the way I like it. What the hell is this? Dude, I think we've been had. I think we need to get out of here, bro. Michael Hupe, please. Thomas Tony Pan. Mr. Hupe? Mr. Hupe? Stella, I told you not to disturb my meditation time. Hey, Tony, where are you? I'm in Alabama. Alabama? What are you doing in Alabama? I've got some family business to attend to and I can't wait. I'll be off the grid for about a week. Well, I need you back in Milwaukee. You're my number one guy. But family comes first, so do what you have to do and give me a call when you can. Hey, man. Yeah, that must have been too long. Hey, Big G. Hey, guys. Hey, Big G, man. Hey, man. My rough boys made it to Billy's bonfire. Come on, pick up a stump. Let's go kick it for a while. All right. Hey, all the rough boys are here. Uh, there he is. Hey, what's that? Oh, it's been oh, here. Hey, oh, hey, it's been here. Oh, man, I run out of gas like five miles. Oh, oh, same old beater. The mayor of fun is here. We're here for a good time. And then they made me their seat. See? <laughs> I'm serious. I know, I know. I didn't take it. I went on. I went to Indonesia. After that, I went up to Nepal and in the Himalayan mountains. And that's where I met up with some holy men. And they turned me on to this stuff. This is sacred yak milk. Yeah, man. Gotta try some. Hey, Diener. Really crazy. Hey, Diener, I wonder how it was mixed with this THC from Hobo that I just got from Kenny. Hey, Pan, so you first freedom fighter stirred us all the fame, man. What else you been doing? Well, yeah, I got inducted in the Hall of Fame back in 2002. 
September 21st at 9.30 in the morning. And then 3 o'clock that same afternoon, we got married in Pepper Creek for the first people to get married up there. That's kind of cool. But that's way after all this other stuff I did. And uh, that's how Vicky met me. She attended some of the big helmet rallies back in Wisconsin. You know about the big helmet rallies, 50,000 people. You got the helmet taken away out there or something. Yeah. So a big part of it. Well, I started a in 1974. Yeah. We got the helmet law repealed in 78. And then after that, we worked on uh, stop the cops from confiscating old bikes. They used to take these old bikes because the numbers looked a little yeah. scary. And uh, we, we went to court with a bunch of them, and we got it back, and we got that law changed. We got the only law in the country that deals with confiscations that specifically mentions motorcycles in the statute. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. I always knew you were going to have something to do with passing laws or breaking laws. How's that jack juice treat me all? Not so bad, a little hairy yak sack. I mean, you need to put that gypsy lifestyle on hold for a little bit. And come on back to Slim Shop and help us out a little bit. We could use it. We miss you, we love you. You know, Beaner, we sure could use the help. Yeah, I love to help you, but you know how it is. The road and the wind's always calling my name. Here's to the wind. The road that never ends. And the wings of liberty. May you never lose a feather. Hey, y'all, see that? None of y'all can handle your liquor. I'm going to bed. Seriously, y'all see that? It was like one of them F-U-O's. No, seriously, though. It was like a actual terrestrial stuff that just... They, I'm not serious. Yeah, wow. Oh, really? Y'all see this? Y'all see this? Look at this guy. You can't see this? I reckon not, darling. Hey, they're moving. They are moving. They're leaving camp now. They're leaving camp now. What the hell is that, dude? I told you to get there. Jeez. Uh-huh. That's great. You Listen up, you morons. I want you to stay on their tail, all right? I want to know everywhere these guys go. They know where the secret motorcycle is. They know where the treasure is. And I swear, if you lose these guys one more time, I'm going to turn you into boots. You got it? A pair of boots. Oh, what a grouch. Gee, what the boss say? He said, you screw this up, he's going to turn you into a pair of boots. What kind of boots? Like I'm going to know. I don't know why you always got to be so difficult. We're losing them!
Neighbors, welcome to Wild Wally's Mega Meat Emporium, home of the Mega Burger. We've got the world's largest burger, and if you eat it, the meal is on me. Come on in. Oh, order up. So there it is, my friend, in all its splendor, the Mega Burger. Oh, did I fail to mention? Five minute time limit. Go. Sir, I'm starving. Like they, they serve Big Jim this time for turning. I'm a little hungry. So you know, back in the old days, you would just went over to the pub and made your own hamburger. I'm gonna have to pretty soon if I don't get something to eat. Just calm down. Okay, look, look, look. Hey, hey, Chrissy. Uh, Chrissy, I need something to eat. I'm starving here. So tell me, what happened to your arm? Real fresh? No, I got a tattooed arm, slim, but it's still fresh. That's cool. <sighs> You know what? How did we get stuck with these dirt bags? They seem nice. No, we need to lose them and we need to get to Daytona. Have faith. See, dude, I told you they'd be here. You know what, man? At this point, I just want to give you a good burger.
make a burger five minutes or less and it's free. That's it? Excuse me? Hey, I think we have a failure to communicate here. Friend 20 man here? Just want to up the ante a little bit. And hey, what are the chances of going to finishing that burger? I think you ought to reconsider. Are you chances of eating that? I don't like you. Oh, yeah. Okay, my friend. If he finishes my burger, then you all eat for free. All right. Yeah! So, where's uh, the next stop on Slim's list? We only got one stop left. Great two fox Willie Diggs. Two fox? By way of the crossroads. Here we are, man. Crossroads. The Devil's Crossroads. So why do they call it that? Man, Demo, you don't know the story about Robert Johnson? No. He was probably standing right where we're at right now when he made the legendary deal with the Devil and became the blues man he is. Highway 61 and 49 could be the perfect place for Slim's ashes. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, guys. We still got one more address. Oh, boy. There you go again. My hot mop, just, man, you gotta have patience, man. We got one more address. We owe it to my dad. We can't argue with that. Man, give me, give me the... Hey, what are all these numbers on the back? I don't know, that's too long to be Facebook password or a bank account number. Maybe seats in a theater? Seats on a plane? Or a bus? Or a train? So what do you think? It's probably nothing. Curious, curious sir. Curious, curious, sir. Hey, boss, I got some more bad news for you. These hippie chicks stole our, well, your truck. You listen to me, you lousy idiots. I don't want to hear from you again unless you have that notebook. Man, I think he just hung up on me, bro. Dude, I don't get it. I really thought them chicks were into us. Obviously not. What are we going to do now? <laughs> What's a seven-letter word for the world's biggest motorcycle rally? Daytona. I don't know. No, it's not Daytona. Okay, how about this? What's a, what's a seven-letter word for a bovine with a big muscular hump? Dude, are you serious? You are making my brain hurt. There you go again, dude. No help as usual.
cup of food. Nice, David. Where's mine? Nothing. As usual. Oh, dude, here they come. They're getting on the pipes. We gotta roll. What about the food? We gotta go. That was Daddy's favorite place to sit and think. He'd play his guitar while the world passed by. Hey there, my dad was slim. He played with Billy Dixon. Can you hear? Oh my God. Billy? Yeah. Billy Dixon. Yeah. I'm Betsy. I'm Willie Daughter. Remember? Betsy. Girl, I used to play a mean game of Duck Duck Goose right here on yes, this part. Yes, we did. Yeah. <laughs> wait, oh, wait a minute. Who is this right here? Ma'am, I'm Charlie Brecto. Slim taught me how to play the blues, and I heard that Willie taught Slim. It's an honor to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. You know, Slim passed away. He wanted us to bury his ashes in Clarksdale, Mississippi, the home of the blues. Then y'all, too, need to come with me. Hey, come on, boys.
you know, maybe Slim and Willie can play the blues together. Since they were best friends in life, they can play it up in heaven. Lord, it have one hell of a band. You know, ladies, I like it. Hey, Hot Mop, who gets Slim's ashes? With pleasure, good time. Jesus, man, I'm gonna die. I think my hip's popping out every time. Ah. Hey, you see that? It's about time, Slim. You're home. I bet you the clues to the treasure's in that briefcase. Man, if we can get that case, Woody's gonna love us, bro. Yeah, maybe he'll even give us a raise. Wouldn't that be nice? And then I'll take your share. What? 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 Give me that case, pal. Get off your old sack. Sorry, man. Rocky! Rocky! Here we go. Hey, guys! Hey, guys! You got Slim's ashes! You got Slim's ashes! Let us go! Let us go! Let us go! Let us go! Let I wish somebody's gonna come along eventually. We'll be all right, dude. Would you just, just shut up? What else could go wrong? Good time. Do you really think there's a gold pan hit and a treasure out there? Very, I'm certain of it. And you know what? Someone's gonna win it. Oh, yeah. They just made. Goodbye, Slim. Hey, Barry. Just look at that. I tell you, man, there's things way more valuable than treasure and gold. Yeah. Family. Friends and family, good time. You know, good time. We've never been able to really see eye to eye, but you know something? Slim would have been proud of you, and I'm proud of you, too. You did a good job. Thank you, Hot Mom.
I'm gonna ride.